Okay. So we, for every component, we try to go through this list. Functionality, hardware implementation, cascading, configurability, and one, one, one application of that, one example of an application for this uh, component. And maybe later also we will talk about very log description. So let's go now to the next component. The first one was decoder. Now we go to the next component, which is multiplexer. Uh, we have already talked about multiplexer. Do you remember? You do, do you remember at that side? You, yeah? Multiplexer. So the multiplexer is uh, something that uh, the functionality is this, that you have a select and for this uh, device, when you have the select, e the select would be either one or zero. The select would be either one or zero. If it is zero, then it means that uh, the input at, the, at zero goes to output. And when the select is one, then it means that the input as one goes out. Uh, and if we, we had also implemented that before, actually. Uh, so this is the uh, implementation. You can do uh, A. A and S not plus B and S and they are all together. So this would be the implementation. S not A plus S B. S if S is zero, then S bar is one, so S A means A. And since S is zero, let's let's say if S is zero, then W is A. If S is 1, then S is 1, so S bar is 0, 0, and A is 0, so S is 1, 1, and B is B. So this is the function of multiplexer. Depending on the select, in output we have either A or B. We select between these two. Okay, everybody okay? Now, we, as uh, promised, we are going to think about the cascading of the multiplexer. That multiplexer, this multiplexer, has two inputs. So it is a multiplexer two to one. Two to one. S selecting one out of two inputs. Let's say that we would like to have an, a four input multiplexer. A four input multiplexer. We could, uh, we could think of this as a new design. You sh could write the truth table. There are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six inputs. So your truth table uh, contain two to the six is uh, 64. 64 rows, and you have one output, then you can build uh, the design. You can draw the Carnot map or try to uh, simplify it yourself. So this is the systematic method. But we are not going to do that. We are now trying to use component-based design. So what, do, what we would like to do is to use our components, which for sure, for this design, which component do we use? For a four to one multiplexer? Yes? The two to one multiplexer, of course. So we will use a two to one multiplexer to build this one. So how do we do that? How do? We, could you think one minute we, together? We could discuss it. We, you have two to one multiplexer. You would like to build four to one. Just think one minute, everybody. Pen and paper, or on the computer, or somebody in his brain or her brain. Thinking? Yeah? Is anybody ready to come here and draw on the blackboard? Yeah, let's try. Where is the eraser? 
Maybe that's, I don't know. Just give him a nod. Okay, yeah, here. A good guess. Very good. Perfect. So we have four inputs, A, B, C, D. And we would like to select among them. Okay. Now, I see my first Okay. So correct it. Let's think. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe you don't need to. Uh, you know, maybe, or maybe this one, uh, or not that one. Yeah, one of them, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it works. So, assume S0, S1 zero is zero, 0, then see how it works, then zero, 01, one, one, zero, 01, one, 01. Okay, let's say it is zero, 00. Zero one, yes. <laughs> no, maybe yeah. You should write S one, S zero, S one, S zero. So okay, yes. Zero 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 one one zero one one. Okay. So let's see. If both of them are zero, what happens? Zero. A gets through. A gets through. Perfect. A comes here. Very good, and then zero, so A gets through. very good. So that's that's good. That's what we want. When both of them are zero, then we would like to A goes through. Okay, so zero one. A gets through, and then no. Zero. Gets through, and then one, so B gets through. No, B A B. Oh, B. This is S zero is one, so right. it is one. Yeah, B B yes, and D. Okay, and then it is zero, B, very good, B gets up, very good. So do you see, S0 selects between A and B, and also C and D, and then the result is going to be selected by S1. Very good, perfect, very good, that's perfect. Yeah, you do it, very good, you did it, very good. So you see, two multiplexers, they select between A, B, C, D, but we, would, we, we use one bit for that. So A, either A, B come here or C, D come here, but we have to use another multiplexer to select among these two, which we could also use that. Okay, clear? That's good. You are David, yeah? Okay. Zero, zero gets A, and that's it. Good, any questions? So we used cascading. We used two multiplexers, two level multiplexers, and this works for us. Very good. But again, I guess I, I've talked about this in decoder also. <coughs> When you have a design like that, then you are actually adding delays to your circuit. You have now two levels of multiplexer. Let's assume that this multiplexer has 10 nanosecond delay. This has 10 nanosecond delay. This has 10 nanosecond delay. So our previous design, this multiplexer had 10 nanosecond delay changing in the input, a change in the input will appear 10 nanoseconds later in the output. That's good. Not bad. It's acceptable. It is some kind of uh, maybe two level, yes, two level, why, why maybe two level delay here. We have two level delays here, so that's good. That's very good. Maybe you can say that's perfect. We cannot do it better than that one AND level and then OR. But here, our design is getting 20 nanosecond delay here. So they are adding up. Uh, any change here will appear 10 nanosecond here, 
and then ch any change here will appear 10 nanosecond later there. So in total, we have 20 nanosecond delay, which is not good. It's getting larger, larger, larger. If, if you want to build, a, a, let's say, 16 to 1 multiplexer out of this, then you are adding more levels, and then you are making more delays. Yeah, is that right? Let's see if you want to, to make 4 to 1, uh, 16 to 1, we have to put 4, uh, four no, 8. Uh, let's say 8 to 1. We, we would like to build 8 to 1. We have to put 8 to 1. So we have to put 4 of them, 4 of 2 to 1. Oh, it's very complicated, getting complicated. Then we have to select the other one. Yeah, it's getting complicated. Maybe I use a four to one, a four to one, two four to one. So selecting S0, S1 out of this, and then another multiplexer here with S2. So you see it, it has more levels. Let me draw it good for you so you could understand what I am saying. If you would like to uh, build 8 to 1 multiplexer, we are going to use 2, two, two 4 to 1 multiplexer. And then 1, 2 to 1 multiplexer. So we put S0 and S1 here, and S2 here, yeah, okay? Any, any objection? And, and you see, this had 20 nanosecond delay, now we added 10 nanosecond again, so the total delay would be 30, and so on. So if we add more levels, the delay would get more and more and more. And more. So sometimes, we think that, okay, two to one is very small. We can build a, bi a bigger one, for example, a four to one. It has delays, so why not building a four to one with uh, two level gates, like this? The design is easy. You don't need to draw 64 rows and put the truth table of that, it's easy. It is multiplexer, so if it is multiplexer, it means that uh, when both of these S0 as S and S1 are zero, we would like to, to, to make A go through. If they are zero, one, then we would like to make B goes through. B goes through. When it is one, zero, we are going to make C goes through, and when it is 1-1, one, one, then D goes through. With your skill in digital design, you don't need to put the truth table of 64 rows for A, B, C, D, S0, and S1, because it, it has six inputs, S0, S1, A, B, C, D. If you would like to put the truth table, you have to, to put 64 rows, and it is very complicated, very messy. But here it's easy. It is multiplexer. Multiplexer is just selecting between these four based on S0 and S1. So that's it. S0 and S1, they both of, when both of them are zero, then when both of them are zero. Okay, so this, this, this should it be right. Something is not right. S zero not S, S, S one not. So this is one one, yeah? S zero is one, S one is, is, is what? <laughs> Something is wrong here, okay. S one is one also. So this is one one, so it's not good. The first one which should be zero zero. Let's make it again. Let's see if it's correct. 
So this is S zero. This is S one. So this should select um, D. Yeah, not A. And the last one is good. Maybe, maybe they are putting in the reverse order. Let's see the last one. The last one. This is S. No, again S zero. But here S one not. Oh, so there are lots of problems here. Let me write. Let me draw it myself. So it's not good. So let me draw it myself. Let's do it correctly. The the uh, the figure was not okay. So let's draw it. We have S zero, S one, and also we would like to build S zero not and S one not. So the first one is when both of them are zero. So we pick S zero not S one not and and them with A. The next one would be S zero zero one. So S zero would be one. one. S one would be not, and it gets B. Okay. Okay. Agree. The next one. Let me put the next one. So the next one would be S one zero. So one zero, one zero, one zero is S one and S zero not, and this one gets C. And the last one, one one. The last one is one one. Let's say this one. One, one, and this one gets D, and they are going to be ORed together, and W. Okay. So this is the good design. Is it okay? Is it okay? Is it correct? No objection. Okay. So we designed it. But this is, is much better because it has two level delays, two, two level of gates. Let's say it is about 10 nanosecond delay of this one instead of the 20, 20 nanosecond when we had cascade. So why not using this later in our components? Well, we put this in our bag for using that. And using this, we could build, let's say, eight to one multiplexer or whatever. So you see the compromise. When you want to have a ready component and use it as much as you can, then you are putting more delays. But if you don't want to use it, then you have to design it yourself. So this is some kind of compromise that you have to do. And uh, there is no free lunch. When you want to have a better circuit, you have to design it. OK, so that design was not good. Now, we do something here, because the idea of uh, what we had before in uh, decoder, we added an enable to that, a pin enable, and then used it for better cascading. We are going to use the same idea here and make an enable for this. That enable means if it is active, then it works as it is. If it is not active, then it doesn't work. It, let's say the output is zero. The output is always zero. But in multiplexer, the idea of zero as being not active is a little bit uh, confusing because the output would be either A, B, C, D and when you are saying that the output is zero what does it mean? It might be B 
B is zero, it might be C is zero. So it's a little bit different, then we will talk about it more later. So let's add an enable here. So this enable, again, as we discussed before, I made it active low. Why I made it active low? From the discussion that we had in the decoder. Why active low? This one? Inside. Okay. Perfect. One input, yeah. The same idea. So again, the same idea we are using with this inverter, this gate. So we make one, the input going to only one gate, not four gates. Uh, that's good. It doesn't change the delay for outside world. It's all internal. So again, we are using this active low input, active low, active low enable input, and use it. So you see, if it is zero, then it means it is active. And it's when it is zero, so the inverter is one, so one goes to all AND gates, so it means that it is like before. Whatever we had before, it is like before. But if the enable is input is one, mean we, which it means inactive, if it is one, which it means that in, because it's active low. So the output is zero, and zero goes to all of the ands, and the result would be zero, and the result would be zero. Regardless of the inputs, the, the output is zero. Somehow, we disable this. It doesn't work as it should be. We disable it. The output is always zero. Whenever you put enable as zero, here as one, because it is active low, then it has been, it, it becomes inactive. Okay? And, yes. for control here is for more more for control not delays because the delay is the same you ha you 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 still have two level gates so it's the same we don't consider the delay of inverters they are compared to the gates they are much less so we don't we ignore them the the symbol would be like that you see now our multiplexer has enable input and we have a circle at the uh, input of the uh, beginning of the gate it means that it is active low this means that this is active low if we don't have this circuit it means that it is active high but here we we, we built an active low so we have put this circle okay now let's try to use a 16 to 1 multiplexer. Here we think, we, we did it here, but with a multiplexer without enable. Now we have enable. Let's see how could we do this using that. Okay. The first thing that is that <coughs> we put four multiplexers. Okay. We want to build 16 to 1 multiplexer. For 16 to 1, we put four multiplexers, four, four input multiplexers. Each one has four inputs. So the, the output comes out. So we have to think of something here. Let, let, let's uh, like what we did here. So there are four multiplexers. So we built our 16 inputs here. Now we have to think about the output. What should we do here? Let's put this here. So the 16 goes here. And like what we talked about here, uh, the select of the last level multiplexer would be the least significant bits. So we have here S0 and S1 will select among this. You see now, when S0 and S1 are 0, 0, then 
from this multiplexer A goes out, A goes through, and from this one E goes through, from this I goes through, from this M goes through. When S0, S1 is 0, 1, yeah, B goes through from here, F goes through, J goes through, and N goes through. When it is 1, 0, the next input goes through. From this one C, from this G, from this K, and from this O. And when it is 1, 1, D, H, I, P goes through. So now we have selected one out of four from each side. But now we have four here. Again, four here. So what do we do with these things? So the idea that you had before to use multiplexer. So that's, that was good for this one. And also I used it for eight, eight to one. Now we would like to use our enable, our enable here. So with the enable, what we do? Okay, let's, let's think about it. What do you think? Any suggestions, David? You do, you do, or anybody, right? Any suggestions? What, do, what component do we use to select among these? Multiplexer would be something like that. And it works, actually, if we didn't have enable, we had to use that. But now we have enable. And when you want to, I, I, I say my sentence, after that, I guess you would have a clue of what I am looking for. When, when S3 and S2, they are zero, zero, I would like this to be effective, to work, not the rest. If they are zero, one, then I want this to be active and the rest, no. When we have one, zero, I want the third one to be active and the rest be inactive, okay? Yes? Multiplexer, but again, it it, it's, it's, yeah, David said that, but it's multiplexer, it, it, it becomes very complicated. You could, you could use that, but it is very complicated. You have to ca cascade it. I, I did it for A, for A to 1, and you saw it has how complicated it was. When it goes to 16 to 1, I guess it is uh, more complicated. Yes? Uh, decoder, yeah. Decoder is the key idea here. Because the, what decoder does, decoder gets two inputs and makes four outputs. And those outputs are, one of them is only, for example, active, is zero, if it is active low, zero, and the rest would be inactive. So the decoder is the solution here. So let's put a decoder here. And the decoder, the output of decoder, where, where does it go? Yeah? Uh, input. Which input? Uh, the, enable. the enable, yeah. That's why we built enable. It has enable now. And using the decoder, we can go to that. We put a decoder here, and the input of decoder would be uh, S two and S3, the output of decoder goes to the enable of multiplexer. Let's, let's have a look at this, this design. So let's have a look at this design. You see, let's say we have uh, zero, zero, one, zero. If this is the case, zero, zero, one, zero, it means that we would, uh, no, zero, zero, 0010 zero is easy. It means that we uh, would like to select the second input, which would be H, uh, B here. Let me put something else so we think more. 
let's say for example we have one zero zero one this is our input s one s zero s one s two s three which one should be selected what is this number oh. nine eight plus one eight plus one eight plus one nine it is nine if you look at the inputs a b c d e f g h it is i so with this input we would like i to go to the output okay so this is what we want let's see if it works so um, s0 and s1 are 0 1 so when it is 0 1 then it means that the second of this multiplexer goes out. It means the orange color. Like look at the orange one. So it means B, F, uh, no, zero one, the one. Sorry, if zero one is the first one, uh, is the second one. Yeah, second one. So the 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 real answer of this one would be uh, J, not I. I is the number eight. J is the number on A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I, I is nine. I is nine. Uh, A. Oh, but but oh, okay. A is zero. A is zero. So A is zero, and then so we ha J would be out. Yeah, J. So we should get J. When we put zero one here, then the orange one goes out. It means B, F, J, and N they go out of the first level multiplexer. But then we have one zero going to the decoder. S2, S3 would be one zero. When we have one zero, one zero, then the decoder decodes number two. One zero is two. So it means that I2 is act, would become active, okay? and I0, I1, I3 are inactive. Okay, let's see. I2, put another color here. Which color do I use? Let's say purple. So I2 now becomes active. I2 is 0, the rest are 1 because it is active low output. I2 is 0. When I2 is 0, this means this is zero. And this means that this multiplexer is working. And this is one. So this is one. It means that this multiplexer is inactive. This is one. I1 is one. It means that this multiplexer is inactive. Then I3 is one. So again, this multiplexer is inactive. Only multiplexer number 2 zero, one, 2 is active and so it means that j comes here j comes here okay and what about the outputs we have we had four outputs before how do we collect them we put or together so this the output of this one going to be or with the other one so the other ones the ones which they are not active are zero. We had enable, we made zero out of them. So the only one that is active generating an, input, an output and this will ord with the other zeros and it means that J. So J comes here. So you see J here, J is here. And here we have zero and also this is zero because it is inactive. So zero comes here. Then we have zero and J, so J comes here. Then we have J here, again zero here. Why zero? Because that multiplexer is inactive. J, uh, J or zero becomes J, so J comes here. This is also zero and J going out. Okay, if you look at this, you see for the first one, we didn't have something coming from the other uh, component. What did we put for the first one? Here. 
we put zero. We put zero ourselves. So this one is not coming from any place. So we had, because we are going to, we are going to replicate this one. You see this box? You could also, you, you, you could say that, okay, so this is the first one. Why do I use an OR gate here? I don't put OR gate. I just put the output of this going to this OR gate. Yeah, that's great. But we, would, we wanted to me make something that could be repeatable, could be repeated as much as we want. And this would be the component. The, this would be the element that we, we repeat. So we had order. We put zero at the first one. It, it means that it works for everything. OK. So let me put something here so you could see J coming out of this. Yeah. So J, this one getting zero because it is inactive. This one is active, so J coming out. J goes here, or with zero, which is coming from this multiplexer. And it's you see, adding an enable to multiplexer helps us to select one of them based on the other inputs, and we used a decoder to do that. The decoder would do that. Decoder. Are, were you Sebastian? No? Well, what was your name? I forgot again. Your name? Uh, Sam. Sam? Yeah. OK, Sam. Yeah, Sam pointed to decoder. Very good. OK, let's move. And this is, as I told you, this is the iterative logic that we, we used it. So now, if you would like to have, let's say, 32 to 1 multiplexer, if you want to have 32 to 1 multiplexer, you could put 8 of this multiplexer and a decoder of 2. No, 2 is here. 8. So 3. 3 to 8. So we have a decoder. Because for 32 uh, multiplexer, we have 5 input. S4, S3, S2, S1, S0. We will use S1 as S0 for these multiplexer, which are 8. And then we have a decoder of 3 to 8. We are putting S2, S3, S4 to them. And then that's it. OK. Now that we have talked about this, we are going to talk about a new concept. Uh, which, has, which is tri-state logic. Have you heard of tri-state? No? Tri-state. I, I don't mean the tri-state in the US. I guess there is some kind of tri-state. No, tri-state. Tri-state in logic, in our course. What does it mean? Up to now, up to now, we were talking always of a two-value logic. Zero, one. Yes? It is either 0 or 1. And by 0, we meant that if some place has connected to ground or low voltage, it means 0. And if some place is connected to VDD, VDD, then it is high voltage and it is 1. Yes? Is this correct? Yeah? Up to now? 0 and 1. Zero is low voltage. I, I talked about this, no? I just once uh, pointed out that zero corresponds to low voltage, one corresponds to high voltage, which is, let's say, five or 3.3 .3 or whatever it is, VDD, the, the highest, the, the, volt, the highest voltage of our design. OK. Now I am going to add another value there in addition to 0 and 1. And that's why we call it tri-state. So it, the, the third one is coming into the play. What would be that value? Oh, no, it's hard to guess. Yeah. Huh? Three. Uh, no, 3 is, <laughs> why not 2? <laughs> From 1, you go to 3? No. Uh, OK, it's hard to guess. Yes? Neutral. So what is neutral? So what is neutral? 
So what is it? Neutral. <laughs> so what is it? OK, that's, that's correct, almost correct. You see, let me show you this. This is my low voltage ground. Then I put a switch here. Then I connect it to this point. I call it A, point A. When the switch is closed, what would be the voltage of A? Uh, one? No, it's ground. It is zero. Zero. With zero volt connected to another place. With a wire, if you, put, if you uh, connect two points with a wire, then they have the same potential. So if it is one volt, this is one volt also. OK? Following, it's, it should be easy. Not, uh, yeah, I am not talking about very hard electronic here. Just the wire, switch, OK? And also, if we have VDD here, I mean the high voltage, and then I put a switch here and connect it to point B. When the switch is closed, what is the voltage of B? One, VDD, which is one. OK? I agree. Let me, let me build another circuit for you. So I put a resistor here. Don't worry about resistor. I guess when you see the resistors, you might get frightened. So look at this point. I call it C. When when the switch is not closed, what would be the uh, value of C? One. one. Perfect. You, so you know you are, your electronic is good, your circuit is good. So this is one. VDD is connected to that, so it is one. And then when the switch is closed, C becomes ground is connected to that. VDD is, not con VDD is connected, but through a resistor. So there would be some current, there would be some uh, potential uh, decrease. So it, is, it becomes zero. When the switch is closed with this circuit, then C becomes zero. OK, this is something else that you don't uh, need to focus on that. I see your faces getting uh, something. Here, I, I, get, I came back here. Now, let's say at point, we are, we are looking at point A, and the switch is open. What happens to A? What happens to A? Uh, this one. Now the, 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 switch, the switch is open. What happens to it? Ah, yeah, the neutral that you told is that. So what does it mean? Now with, this, with the circuit, you can say what does it mean. So what is that? Not connected, neutral, yeah? So, what? Floating, not connecting to anywhere. It is floating. You cannot say it is zero because it has not connected to zero voltage. It is not zero. It is somewhere connected. Connect, no, not connected, float. So what do we call it? We don't call it neutral, but neutral is a good, is a good uh, state. We call it high impedance. The uh, impedance, you know impedance, resistance. So it is something float. It has not connected to any place. So it is something in the space with high impedance. The, the resistance to any place is high. This is a high impedance, open. It is infinite impedance there. So it is high impedance, OK? And how do we show it? We show it with Z. So now we, we have gone to a tri-state logic. 0, 1, Z. So we have another value also, 0, 1, Z. And this has a lot in digital design. It is not something that we don't use it. We use it a lot. 
Why? Because it is float. Sometimes you need to make an output float so you could connect other things to that. Because you cannot connect two things to one place. Let's, let me tell you. This is A, and here we have a switch to VDD. VDD. This is the switch to VDD. And also here we have a switch to ground. Could you close both switches? Could you? You could, but you will, uh, um, you will break the VDD because VDD and ground make a short circuit between them and then the current will go infinite and then you have blew your, your power supply. Okay? You can, but it's not good. So the uh, rule is that you cannot connect two things driving one point. You cannot uh, drive one location with two driving, driving force. To, because th those driving, one of them could be one, the other one could be zero, and it would be, it become short circuit. Or if it, is, if, if it is not even a short circuit, it is something that we don't know what happened. Either zero is more powerful, make it zero, or one is more powerful, make it one. We don't know what happens. So this is not a good idea to connect two drivers to one point. And here is Z helps us, Z state helps us. So if we have something that they are connecting together, whenever we want to make one of them be the driver for this, we make the other one as Z. We make it high impedance, so this is high impedance. It means that it is open, it is float and the other one drives that. So this is a very, very uh, useful application that we would have for high impedance. Now that I've talked about connecting zero and one to you, let, you, let me make you more uh, confusing. Really, in digital design, we have a four-valued logic, not three. Up to 10 minutes ago, you had only two values, zero and one. Then I have added Z to that. Another value that you should think of is X. X means unknown. When you have zero and one connecting to some place, it either blows the circuit uh, because of the short, short circuit, or it becomes something that we don't know. Is it zero? Is it one? We don't know. So it is x. So this is the four value logic which you should think of that in your designs. For us, I guess for our course, we only stop at the three values, zero and one and z. But uh, x is also. Uh, did you have lab in your lab? Did you simulate? Yeah, you had simulation in your lab? with the wave, yeah? So if you don't initialize something, what do you get there? Blank. And what is that? If you look at the, the symbol there, it says X. It is not blank. It shows you something like that. If it is bus, something like that. And if you look at here, it says X. So X means unknown because you didn't in initialize it. So it, it might be zero, it might be one. So you don't know. So it is X. And then you have to initialize it. For example, you put a one here or zero here, then it becomes something like that. Okay, so X is also important, but for us, I guess we, uh, we uh, uh, just use tri-state. And for tri-state, let me show you in, in, in the design, in the CMOS design. Uh, okay, we have time, okay. In, in the CMOS design, uh, if you remember, I showed you before an inverter. So for inverter, I told you we, ha we will use a PMOS with an NMOS. 
which you don't, you don't need to memorize it and we don't ask you this in the exam, but it was good if you know that. So here is VDD, here is grams, and here was uh, the inputs. Uh, for example, this one, okay, your inputs. And I guess I've told you, if the input is zero, then the PMOS is conducting if the input is zero, so it is zero volt, and then when it is zero volt, this is VDD, another color is better. It is here we have five volts, for example, here we have zero volt, so for PMOS, when there is a potential here, it conducts, uh, and then it means that this transistor is on. So here we have VDD and VDD appears here. So it becomes five. So when we have zero as input, the output is five. But if we have one as input, when we have one as input, when we have one here, this is one, this is five volt, this is five volt, so it doesn't conduct, but here, we have one here, we have zero here, then this transistor conducts, so this is on, so this is zero, and this becomes zero. This is, this conducts, this becomes zero. So when we have zero, the output is one. When we have one, the output is zero. So it is an inverter. We have built an inverter. We, I've shown you before that, but uh, since our course shouldn't cover this, I didn't uh, put questions or quiz for that. Uh, but now let's look at this circuit. So the first one, we had this PMOS and this NMOS. Now we add another pair of transistors in between them, and we connect it to enable and enable bar. So if the enable is one, if the enable is one, and so this one is conducting, this one also because it is PMOS is conducting, so the circuit works as it is before when the enable is one. But the, the thing is when enable is zero, when enable is zero, when enable is zero, then enable is zero. This one doesn't conduct. Enable is zero, so this is one. So this is one, this is PMOS, so this one doesn't conduct either. So both of them are off. And the out is what? So both of them are disconnected. It is exactly like the switch that I showed you that you open it. So it is on float, it is Z. So it is Z. So we have built, we have built an inverter with enable, with an, a tri-state inverter. This is a tri-state inverter. When the enable is one, it works as it is. So if the input is one, the output is zero. When it, the, out, the input is zero, the output is one. But when enable is zero here, <coughs> then the output is disconnected, is float. It is high impedance. So the true stable is this. When enable is zero, then the output is high impedance. Either the enable is zero or one doesn't matter. The enable is zero, so it is high impedance. But when enable is one, the input is zero, the output is one. When enable is one, the, the input is one, the output is zero. Yes? The reason why it's because the electricity flow is low. Yes. So it's open. Open circuit. Float. So let's say this. This is not uh, conducting. So the, the things here is float. Do you know how much potential does it have? It is not zero. Don't don't forget. It's, it's, it, it could be anything. If you put a, a voltmeter to this 
and the other side to the ground, it might have some voltage. But it might not have. It might be close to zero, usually, because we don't have electricity in the physics. But we don't know. It is not zero. It is not connected to any place. But if you connect it with a wire to a potential, then that would become the same potential of that. So we have built a tri-state inverter. This is one thing. We, we could have a similar thing. For example, this is a, a high active, uh, high uh, active enable. We could have low active enable inverter. Would be like this. This is low active enable inverter. Okay, you could have this, and this is also very good. You, ha you haven't seen it before. This is a buffer. Just whatever input is, output would be that, but with a very better current driving. We don't go to that. But it is a buffer. So you could have a low enable buffer, a high, en high active enable buffer, a high active buffer, or you could have low active buffer. So there are four things that you could see inverter or buffer and each one of them either low active enable or high active enable okay and this is the four value that I've taught and, and I told you about X X is something that we don't know is it zero is it one is it Z no, even we don't know if it is Z. No zero, no one, no Z, so it is X. So we have four values. Now let's, that we have talked about this, now let's uh, make a tri-state max, multiplexer. Max is multiplexer. And you see why we, be, we are going to build something like that. A tri-state max uh, would be something like that, yes. How, how long, how much do we have time? Oh, we are in 20 minutes. Yeah, the quiz is five minutes. Yeah, the project. So maybe I could uh, stop here, but just give you the symbol. You see the multiplexer we had before? This is the multiplexer that we had before. If you put an upside down triangle here, it means that the output has a tri-state possibility. Either zero, either one, either Z. So this is the uh, tri-state uh, symbol. And also we have added an enable here. So if it is enabled, then the play, uh, multiplexer works as it, it was before. But when it is enabled, the output is Z now, not zero. We have built something like that with enable. But at that time, which I told you that when enable is active, the multiplexer works regularly. When enable is not active, the multiplexer outputs zero, which, is, which was not a good idea because zero is something. Zero is something. It is zero. But here, we are making it enable, and when it is not active, the output would be high impedance, Z. So we call it OE, not E. Output enable. With this OE, when it is active, the output is either zero or one based on the, on the, the inputs. If it is inactive, then the output is Z. So that's it for now. Let's go to quiz fast. The quiz is very simple. You need five minutes to do that. So let me bring it for you. The quiz called Decoder. I hope it is available now. And the password is, ready? Decode. Decode. Oh, because of the time. Every time I do something wrong. Because it has been passed. So now it is 12.35. I make it available until 12.38 to start it.
twelve thirty eight save so oh start date must be before so it's oh PM <laughs> okay PM very good two minutes to a start not two minutes to start. The, the quiz is five minutes so you have two minutes to a start okay a start please password. the password is decode D-E-C-O-D-E -E. <clears throat> okay, may I have your attention? Not finished? You need more time? It's not easy. Okay, let's go to the project. What would be your question? Okay, I guess there was another problem in another group. Uh, there is al already five submissions, so you should ha have also submitted yours, but maybe it was not clear. Uh, it is in project section, everybody. Project section, there is a project report assignment that you have to submit. And to, for you to be able to see that, you need to make a group in the project, uh, project part, groups. There is a group for, for project. No, not this one, the project group, this one. So we have already uh, maybe five or s seven groups have already been formed, so you need to group. Uh, and now we have submissions of uh, five groups. Let me bring it for. I also put the report in the site. So those of you who uh, they are not working on the project could see the progress of your colleagues. And even you, if you also do your project, you could see what uh, they are doing. So the project report group of group one is this one. Okay, it is Jingao, uh, and believe you. Has, do you. Are you here? Yeah, you are. You, you are. Okay, but which one are you? First one, Jingao. Okay, so the report was good. I looked at that, and everything was there. There is. There are two problems with the report. First. You should have used my template. You use that, but you put it in your own format, which is not bad. But the second one is that you have to put, everybody please, when I ask you to submit something, you put your source file, which is, which either it is PowerPoint or Word. I don't know, but we, where did you write it? Was it Word, Microsoft Word or PowerPoint? I just use Word. What? I just use Word. Word. So now do it do, do as Word. So if I want to write comments or if I would like to see that with PDF, I cannot do anything. It's hard. I can, but it is hard. So the report was good. I looked at that. And especially here, the, the things that you mentioned about the, how are you going to implement it with idle state, with moving up and moving down. Very good. So the next group. We have five minutes, please pay attention. The next group was group three. Group three. Group three, again the same. Who is group three? Let me bring the names. Group three. Jeff, okay, Jeff and Morgan. Morgan is here? No, okay, Jeff. It, it, it was good, actually. I guess I've seen that, except that you didn't have the approval. Yeah, I have to, uh, you sent the post. I have to, I have to. Okay. The last two, three days I was busy, but I will do that. So this is your problem. 
and it is digital alarm system I will go through that more carefully because I haven't done it in the forum so that's good very good the next group is group number five group number five Fadi yeah second one this one what do you mean for second? yeah I guess the, the, they were they were the same I, I opened I opened both of them I thought they are they are the same but anyhow this is the report digital traffic light and Fadi and Rahima Rahima is here are, are you Fadi yeah, yeah. okay where, where is Rahima she is not she uh, she or he, he? She. she she is not here okay so uh, the report is was good but uh, the, I, I haven't approved it actually no. you see uh, you just put that you I don't have group mate I said okay hope you could find one and then that's it you should you should define it you should uh, see say what you want to do and then I approve it but I looked at here and again I couldn't find what are you going to do what how does it work when do you put green light when do you put red light yellow light and so on so I didn't find that so you need to put to, to, put, to post in the discussion did you no you had to you have to and the next group is group number eight I guess they are the same again and you were good because you you you, also, you uploaded your PowerPoint PowerPoint is good and again here uh, where is that this group this group Adam Adam is here Odilon no none of them none of the group is here we have so many absent okay I did it actually I, I haven't did it uh, I haven't done it so they have to post it I went through them they are not bad again it was like you but some problems there were so I need to, to approve it that's why I ask you I emphasize that you need my approval so the project gets a clear definition and the group number 18 Roxy and Ina Ina yeah Roxy is not there okay so Ina is what it was good I ha I saw your uh, question also unfortunately the board doesn't have a D2A it has a D2A you saw it has a D2A but it is for VGA components so they are using that D2A for making video signal and I don't think that you can use that so it's good if you use your own the link that you put here where is the link was it here oh here it was very good so why don't you follow is yeah you are going to do that yeah it was very good it had three parts and uh, he was explaining how did he uh, uh, built his uh, synthesizer so I guess that's a good, very good. It 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 give you a step by a step what are you go, what you should go you should do and then that's it. If 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 you are okay with that, I I, I looked at that. It was good. You you would learn much from that. No other group. So you wanted to submit, you couldn't, and you. So let me make an extension this time only for the first one but hopefully the next the next uh, report wouldn't be extect extended so this is the project report edit availability end date it today is 20 so tonight is good tomorrow but you have done you have to do it before but let's say tomorrow okay very good so that's it any questions what we covered today was a multiplexer 
And then I've introduced the concept of tri-state logic, which is very important. And then we are going to build a max a multiplexer with tri-state output, and then we use it for our cascading. Now we could cascade it much simpler, much better. Okay. Have a good day. <laughs>